and welcome back to Free to Play Friday. Today we will be doing Paladins which is out on the Switch. And I am actually playing it on the Switch. As you can see here with my Switch Pro Controller. It's not exactly a Pro Controller because it's got a wire and you can't turn it on using the controller. But anyway, um, let's just show this off. You know, you have daily rewards, you have this bit here in the store. You have DLC, items, chests and, and all that type of stuff. And yes, this is a, a game where you can buy unlockables, so if you don't like those kind of games, then I really wouldn't suggest this to you, but um, let's play a game here. We have Siege, Onslaught, and Team Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch is my favourite. Um, we'll do one game of each, and then I'll end the video off. So. Uh, I just did that, so I did that. Right, so uh, we're waiting for Team Deathmatch. You can see in the top left corner. Oh, there we go. Let's say to join. Um, how long you've been waiting, and if you press in the right thumbstick, you can. <laughs> you can um, cancel waiting and no date. You can like change what you want to do. Um, so this game uh, is uh, basically a free-to-play Overwatch. Um, yeah, play, play if you to join. Um, so yeah, um, if you like Overwatch and you've been waiting, if, waiting for it to come out on the Switch, but it hasn't come out on the Switch yet, then I would definitely suggest at least looking at this because. Uh, like I said, it is free to play, so you can just pick it up and get start playing. Um, and um, I think it's doing a thing. I don't know how long it's going on for, but they're doing a thing where you can play as any character, um, even the ones that you you would use to have to unlock. But I don't know how long that's going on for. So um, yeah, that might be a thing. But yeah, look. Yeah, uh, uh, it's got to all the characters and logs so you can literally play as anybody. Yeah, I mean, there's Genus, I think his name is this guy, because uh, he's a healer. I've got him, I got him a, uh, I upgraded his stuff. Uh, his finger was, I, it changed how he looked at least. Um, and as you can see, I've, yeah, level 8 with him. And we've got no front line. Excuse me. You're not too bothered right now if you don't have a front line because I'm just here to show off the game. Um, mind you, having not having the front line is bad for healers because those are mainly the people I would follow around because they have the most health. So healing them. And you know, they're also quite bulky, so healing them is the best thing. So, neither side has a front line, we only have healers, um, and the other two, I don't know, have all the classes. Um, yeah. Um, wait for this to get in. Might be a bit rusty because I haven't played this in a while because I took a break, that's why you, you saw earlier that I only had the basic um, reward reward today because uh, I took a bit of a break I think to do other things yeah this game is very grindy like if you want to unlock anything you're going to have to play a lot of games Someone just called the then the, the switch account Splatoon 2 for some reason. A centre middle on the bad guys uh, team. Uh, yeah, Splatoon 2. Why? I don't get it. It genuinely.
really, really sure what it is. I think they're just like uh, different things that um, chain the jet things. Ultimately, is an X, and it, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, and you have different uh, um, powers. I'm just gonna call it these guys. Uh, something I uh, say I can say this game really needs is um, voice chat. Like that would be really help good for this game. A voice chat. Okay, I haven't seen that character before, probably because it's one you have to um, unlock. Pretty much pinned in here. Yep. Why does this? I'm actually surprised I'm not there. Are they focused? Yeah, they're probably focusing them down. Yeah, there we go. Oh! What? Where did he come from? <laughs> okay, you can die, you can die, thank you. Got you. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. 
Jesus! Okay, I'm gonna try to not stick my head out there because I'm just going to die. Like seriously, I'm just gonna wait and heal. Oh. Ah! Ah yeah. Oh yes. Heal. not because everybody else is yeah probably not a good idea to go back to the place where everybody just died Hello. You get healed. Oh no, you don't. Oh, I took a few hits there. Got ya. Oh, we won. I thought we was actually going to lose our fight. It's just... Yeah. Okay, we won. Yeah, so I'm guessing that's one of the characters you have to unlock. That's why he did so good because the characters that you unlock are a lot better than the ones that you just that just come with the game, obviously, because. They wanted to have characters that you could unlock without ha having some reason to unlock them. Um, and that is one of the only reasons why I could say maybe hold off on getting the, playing this. Because right now there is that thing, like I said, where all the unlockable characters are temporarily unlocked. Um, so if you want to like specialize in a character, you're going to have to look up what characters come you know, just with the game. Then all characters are unlockable, and you're going to want to try and specialize with uh, that one, or at least work up in and work up into unlocking again. Um, the other, the other characters, um, but um, the problem is that um, the characters are unlockable, uh, you know, working with the ones that uh, come with the game is going to be harder than working with the unlockable characters because, like I said, they're more powerful, they're just flat out better than the uh, basic ones, so it's going to be a little bit challenging to um, use them. Uh, if we look at the champions, these are the ones that, it shows the ones that are locked and the ones that aren't locked uh, by default. Um, so you have all of these which you can unlock, all the grayed out ones. So there's Grover who's also a healer, there's Grog who's a healer, Fuaya who's also a healer, so if you can unlock, uh, I'll probably, Pip's also a healer, I, I killed him the other time, so. And Cirrus, I, she's actually quite good, I've seen her before, I've seen people who have unlocked her, she's quite good. Ying is also a healer, so I might try out one of the different healers this time. Because my favourite class is usually the healer or a dual wielder. Like, if you, 
that's sni or a sniper. Sniper, dual wielder, or healer are my favourite classes. Which is why I don't play much of Splatoon 2 really. I, like I played a bit of it and I, and it was fun. Uh, but I mainly just defaulted to dual wielding because the sniper wasn't any good, as I stated in another video. Um, and all that. So let's go with Ying because I've never seen Ying before. So she's like an elf girl. That's cool. Um, so, like I was saying, so I just re it was just uh, match her. Uh, you know, some some guy didn't make a selection. Uh, now we have to queue again. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the reason why I never really got into Splatoon too, because I only really had the trolley speed at my. My only favourite weapon that really, that really even existed in it was the dual wielder. Um, you know, the dual splat pistols or whatever they're called. And it really just got still for me because those are the only ones I really liked. Um, so, yeah, I think that um, if they had like a healer class, like a healer class that um, was more bulky. And like it could um, replenish your teammates ink or he and they, they clean them off or you know just like um, you know could you know could just be a general healer or you know just have healing weapons or whatever. Then I would definitely be more into it because healer is my favorite class because in most games like these it is one of if not the most important class. Because, sure, you can have, uh, like, the most firepower, but usually that firepower won't last long if, uh, you know, they're just going to die and it, uh, um, a healer just gives your entire team more sustainability. Especially with the bulkier characters that are supposed to be taking hits and frontlining, a healer complements them really well. So, um, that's why, in my opinion at least, healers are the most important class. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest like having an entire team of healers and just like one guy that takes all the hits because the healers um, are easy just um, are easy like uh, ammo fodder like they die easily usually um, you can uh, you can get some bulkier ones but they don't, don't tend to um, do much healing so when you I guess with Splatoon 2, I guess, I'm not really sure if the gameplay really in the matches would uh, suit a healer too well most of the time, but still it would be nice to have the option to be like some sort of support. Um, so yeah. And yeah, just may and the, the and the problem with the sniper is that there's no really good points where you can snipe. Like, and the thing is, sniper. Um, it like here's some. If they wanted to make the sniper good, here's what they need to do: introduce the new maps and modify existing maps to benefit the sniper mechanic better. Because you know, to the point where you know there's like towers and you could get to the towers. And it uh, just snipe really well, um, uh, and you'd be relatively safe. If, and then they'd have to come up the thing, and then you, uh, and then you know, if they could see you, they'd have to go up the tower. Which you could have someone with you to protect you, but if you were on your own up the tower, then you'd be pretty much buggered. Yeah, um, and okay. So I don't play these modes much, so I'll probably just have no idea what to do. Um, and have the sniper so that has like a little snap-on feature, so it's just like if you're aiming close enough to a person, and it just snaps onto them, and then you can just shoot them. I don't mind a lot a um, long recharge time. Like I'm not bothered about that. It's mostly just 
the fact that it, there's no real good places to use them and it just doesn't really work. So that's my attack. Uh, oh, uh, said I. Oh, I'm on the horse now. Um, what's heal? Oh, what did I do? How here? Right. Ow. Oh! Hello! How do I heal people? Right. Is that? Did I heal him? I. Uh, oh, I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot. I. <laughs> I'm just taking shots at this guy. They can't hit me. I don't even know if that other guy knows what's happening. Hey, we captured the place. Now we need to hold it. Point control four, four, four. Oh, and yeah, he's a good guy. Oh, over there. <laughs> no idea. Well, my controls are. What the heck is that? Oh, what? what? I have no idea what's going on. All these new characters at once is confusing me. I'm just going to use help so I can reload. Oh, I'm low on health! I'm just going to go here. I teleported! I should have looked up the controls. Oh! Go away, go away. Genius! No! What? Right, can I respawn? Thank you. I'm here to take pot shots and distract you just generally. Hmm. I am 
have a seven kill streak. Eight kill streak. There we go. Oh no. Nine. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, hello. Ten. Twelve kills. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifty. Sixteen. Seventeen. Oh, am I the only one holding this pace down? Oh, here we go, friend. Ow, 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 ow. We won! I think I literally killed him as we won. Okay. I don't think I did much healing there because I literally didn't know which one did the healing. How did you the controls again? Okay, so I was just like capture the base. Pretty sure that was fun. Champions, I think I need to. Oh, they've got a new character, Coca. Oh, yeah, he, he killed me a couple of times. Else? Ah, yes, ability. So, yeah, that tells you. You can go to abilities and it tells you all of their abilities. So, if I go to abilities, uh, mirror, lust, lustrous mirror, fires a continuous beam for a short period of. period. That deals five ticks of every ninety damage. Uh, shatter, shatter all active illusions, causing them to uh, chase down enemies and explode for five hundred damage. One. Uh, for four seconds, swap locations with the furthest illusion. If none are. Deployed, it will take you to the location of the last active illusion. Oh, so that will happen when I get uh, teleported. Illusion, create an illusion that heals a nearby ally for 420 every second. So that is L. So L for here creates an illusion that heals people and you can teleport to that illusion using dimensional link, which is R. So L and R. Okay, well, I'm not going to use her again, I'm going to use a different character, um, different healer. Let's see, I've seen you before, so I'm not really that interested in using you. Uh, ooh, how about this person? Maldorama. Uh, fires a globe of venom every... Summons a spirit to, to enchant, enhance an ally uh, healing... 280 health every second for 5 seconds, so that is ZL. So yeah, let's, let's use him then. So, next one is um, Siege. Capture the objective and then push the payload. So this is payload one. Let's get 
added to this then. So yeah, um, if you do plan on playing this game, something I would definitely suggest, find either a podcast, a, or a, like, playlist of songs from video games that you like, or, um, just playlist of fan songs like Need to Once Battle, or, um, uh, Try Hard Ninja, or whatever, whoever you like. And just put that on and listen to it in the background while you play these games. Like, seriously, that's that's my best suggestion. Like, um, because this uh, is a very grindy game, like I have stated before, and it, um, doing that will help you just uh, um, enjoy it more. Um, but yes, so far my favorite one is still um, the one where you have to kill everybody. Like, that's my favorite so far. It was Mal Darama. Mal Darama. He has a snake. That's cool. Right, got no flank. Apparently. Oh. Someone didn't make a decision. Ah, uh, right, yeah, that's you. That, right, that is my biggest problem with this game, is that it can take a while to get into a match, and then sometimes you'll be kicked out of it because someone didn't pick a character. Um, in my opinion, what you should do is just um, make it so that your character gets automatically selected by like um, either a random character or like one from. Uh, from like a um, class that your team hasn't got, or the last character you used, and uh, you know just then uh, if you do have gone AFK, then uh, I know that will be unfair on your team. But it, I think they'd rather have the ability to play the game, even if they are like one person down, rather than. Um, just wait all that time just to find out that they uh, um, can't play the game because uh, one of their teammates didn't pick. Yeah, the pay player failed to join. Yeah, I think I'm gonna um, come back when I'm actually in the game. Okay, so we've got a match here, finally. It was actually the next one that I got, so it wasn't too bad. Um, Um, so yeah, after this, I'm going to move our webcam a bit there, and just so you can see my face a bit better, but mind you, you'll be seeing two of me, twice the uh, sexiness. Uh, but yeah, and then I'll just, oh, well, then after this, I've got one more thing I want to talk about after this, and uh, then I'll um, move the camera there, because I want to look, look up something to see if there's a um, tier listing. For this game, so like um, S rank here, you know, ranked characters. So hopefully by class, so like the best of their class. If there is, I'll um, put a link in the description down below, um, and then you can just be like, okay, I want to use this class mainly, so that means this character is best for this class. So I'm going to use this character that's, uh, that just comes with the game already, um, and I'm just going to use that um, until I ha until I can unlock that character. I'm on a horse again. Okay, ow! What? Okay. Whoa! Oh, 
Okay. If there was a sniper in the... Oh, that's how he killed me. If there was a sniper in this game, snipers would just be OP in this mode. Oh, I fell off. And I'm dead. What? You'd think that character would be weak because it's melee, but it's just like... Okay, I guess it could have really strong melee, but it, he just seems to be able to kill me from a range. I don't know what that's all about, but... Uh, yeah, that's their character. Oh! A bomb appeared! Ow, ow. Oh my... God, I just realized. Oh, that's um. Where was he even? Oh, it's there. I just realized that um. The venom. Well, it makes sense, but I don't know why I didn't realize this before, but the venom arcs downwards. So this is definitely like the worst character offensively. Like, no question about it, there could be. There could not be a character worse than this. Offensively speaking. What? Is there for a grenade? Ah. Okay. I got, I killed somebody. Ow. Healing. actually win this somehow. Yay, we won. Oh. Two out of four. Okay. So we need to do that again to win, I guess. Just not. I need to heal. Oh, thanks for the wall. I actually needed that. Hi.
Yeah, so this character definitely needs heavy backup, like, um, if you're on your own and you're pretty much dead if you've got, if you're going up against somebody on your own. Hello. Objective lost. So yeah, they got one out of four. Oh, hit me for some reason. can hit me from range with those claws. This is a bit OP. I can't figure it out. So they basically have free reign now because they... What? I don't know what's going on. Oh! So yeah, they got one point for that, we got one point for that, so we just need to do that again to win. Okay, I'm, I'm getting it, I think. Three, two, one, go. Oh, we win!
yes, that's all the modes of the game. One more thing before I look up um, if there's any key listings for this game. Um, let's wait for this to load. Loading, loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. Here we go. Yeah, you load up. Right, so. Uh, if you want to, if you want to unlock any of these guys, say I want to unlock, uh, you know, new healer series, you would press A, and you would press X, and then you can use them or them, you know, crystals or gold. Uh, it would cost sixty thousand gold. I've got, I can only got twelve, um, but I've been playing for a while. But yeah, three hundred crystals. Um, if I go to store, uh, you get, um, if you play for one week, you get uh, 40 crystals per week, so, um, you can save up, but I think all of them will have, like, different prices, so if I just pick a random one here, uh, th yeah, 30,200 crystals, like, different characters will have different, um, things, so, like, 15,000 crystals, 100, uh, yeah, so I could unlock him in a little while with a bit of grinding. But yeah, just uh, I would def I would highly suggest playing this game, especially if you like Overwatch. Uh, with free modes and it, um, yeah, so free modes to play and it, uh, a multitude of characters uh, to uh, use. Um, like I said, the only right, the only two things I could say this game needs I'm not sure if it one I'm not sure it doesn't if it does or doesn't have and one I know it doesn't have. The one I know it doesn't have is voice chat. That would be really good um for this type of game. Uh voice chat or at least some way to communicate between your teammates. But I mean the second thing is crossplay because this is also out on um mobile devices and all if I mean and all that. So crossplay is another thing it uh, um, could do with. Right, so let me see if there is tier listings for pal paladins. So Google paladins tier list 2018. Uh, Official Paladins tier list. So yeah, there, there's nobody in double S. There's nobody in S plus. In S is Cass, Casey, Zing, uh, A plus. So it doesn't do it by. Um, all right. Yeah. So there's tier list ratings by class. So um, yeah. So there's frontliners, damage, support, and flanks, um, and it rates them by tier. So. The top tier support is series and ge genus. Um, series is just a bit better than the gen genus, so I've actually been using one of the top tier supports. And yeah, uh, it doesn't surprise me that genus is one of the higher tiered uh, um, support characters, being as I've played him quite a bit and he is quite good. Um, Rover and Grok, so yeah. So, let's go to champions. I'll let you have a look. I'll put, like I said, I'll put a link to the description, to this down in the description. But yeah, so like, uh, uh, the wor the worst uh, frontliner at frontliners are B plus with ha ka han. So, han. Han. I think we've seen this guy a couple of times. Yeah, we've seen him a couple of times. He is um, B plus, um, one of the highest of B plus. Um, Ash from Pallet Town. No, no, Ash here. Huh. 
I didn't make the lowest humans, but it's just as um and Barrick. Hmm. Oh, is he a dwarf? No, he's a mechanic. So yeah, if you're like a low tier hero or whatever you want to call them, you know, people who use low tier guys, those are good for uh, them. Uh, oh, there is one definitive lower lowest damage with with the only one being in B with his, which is Vivian. This is the worst damage character apparently, and it's actually quite expensive. Jeez. It just goes to show you that um, not all of the um, higher cost characters to unlock are actually good, and where support is what what. So yeah, this guy. And Grover. Which I think is literally the guy next to him, so. Yeah, this guy. And... Yeah, Grover. To be honest, when I first saw this guy, I didn't know he was a healer. I thought he was just like a glass cannon character, because um, I constantly saw him in, the, in games like in the front line, and just, I'd kill him just really quickly. So yeah, that makes uh, that makes sense. That he's B B rated. So none of these are okay. B is basically stands for bad, and B plus stands for bad, but not bad bad. And A is like uh, okay. A plus is above average. A and S is um, is good. S plus is really good. S S is pretty much the best you can get. And um, but there's no S plus to SS, like the, uh, there's an S class dam for damage and flanks, but that's the only ca uh, class that has S rank characters. Um, and Sky is the worst flank. So those, uh, if you like using lower tier characters, those are the worst in their class. So you might want to try bringing them and just having some fun with them. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, she here. Yeah. Doesn't surprise me that she's the best healer. In the dozen L I've seen her in action and she is pretty good. So I'll probably wait to unlock in here. Um But yeah. Uh I'm gonna copy this link. It is a Reddit link, so yeah. Um first you have just like um you know tiers, you know, just like all of the characters side by side with their tiers so with their ranking. So like the best character is Cassie with a rating of rating of five point fifty two. Next is Zin with a five point oh nine. But yeah, Cassidy and Zin are Cassie is damage and Zin is like lang, so yeah, they're not the same class, but yeah. Um I would definitely suggest at least playing this game like you know, if you have a Switch, get it, it's free to play, you know, pick it up, play it for a little while, if you don't like it, put it down, maybe come back to it and you might change your mind later, or you might not, or you just might just uninstall it to say you have a uh, memory on your Switch, but, you know, um, it is a good game, If you, like I said, if you have a Switch, download it, play it for a little while, if you like it, you like it, if you don't like it, you don't like it, if you like Overwatch, you'll probably like this, unless you like Overwatch for the lore, which I don't know why you would, because 
that it was clear it, they clearly started off the game that Ran the Law was just like complimentary but they never didn't really put that much thought into the law in the early days and now things that they are saying are contradicting things that they have said and the, uh, the law in Overwatch is a little bit messy just a bit anyway I'll see you guys in the next uh, video bye bye